Good morning, lovelies. How's everybody doing? Happy Valentine's Day, and I hope all of you are feeling very loved today. I certainly appreciate you being here. And a shout out to everybody who uh, has figured out that the love of their life has four legs. Because I know, I've been there. So, as some of you know, as I've talked about before, I'm a cancer survivor. And um, I had a cancer called multiple myeloma. I was diagnosed in 2013, started treatment in 2014, and I went into remission in 2015, which is why I'm coming to you today. It's officially been six years, which is great. Like, unbelievable. Five years was amazing. Six years is even better. Uh, and I celebrate Valentine's Day as my remission day because I found out, I believe it was the 27th of February that I was in remission based on blood work and a visit with my doctor and, you know, all your basics. But, you know, remission didn't happen on the 26th of February. So I always celebrate the 14th Valentine's Day as my life day, my remission date. So I'm coming here to wish all of you a very happy Valentine's Day and to talk about my remission and how wonderful it is. And one of the things I really wanted to talk about today was medical science and not giving up hope. Now, my particular cancer, multiple myeloma, like I said, I was diagnosed in 2013. Had I been diagnosed 10 years earlier, 2003, I would have been considered uh, terminal, terminally ill. Um, they did not have the medical science to uh, really fight this disease the way they do now. Now, multiple myeloma is very interesting. What, what happens with most people, it's very similar to adult leukemia, if you know anyone that has adult leukemia, um, or lymphoma, it's a, it's a blood-based illness. It's based on bone marrow and blood. So what happens is you would go for chemo, and then you'd go into remission for a year or two, through two years, sometimes three years, and then the multiple myeloma would come back you would continue this process until it gravely injured your kidneys, the chemotherapy. Uh, and then eventually you would end up uh, having end stage renal disease and people who died of multiple myeloma actually didn't die of multiple myeloma, they died of end stage renal failure. And it was a horrible disease. It was a horrible wasting cancer. Uh, it caused your bones to break, um, which is still an issue that I might have. Uh, so, you know, the idea of dying in bed, drowning in your own fluids with broken bones is, is absolutely horrible. Now, in the early 2000s, there was quite a bunch of research done into um, stem cell procedures, which is what I had. Uh, I actually donated my own stem cells to myself. In that process, I was they took my stem cells and they actually spin them and clean them, which sounds really strange, and freeze them. Then they give me this chemo that completely flatlines my um, immune system. It's almost like rebooting your computer. You literally, you, you erase the hard drive in your body, basically. And then they give you your now clean stem cells back and they hope that this triggers immunity in your body. Well, that's exactly what happened to me. I went into the hospital. I was supposed to be in there for a month. My stem cells had been harvested the month before. They were frozen. It took uh, about three days for everything to really come down. And then that was it. I mean, after receiving the chemo, a couple of three days later, I received my own stem cells back and then it I just went up. Um, my immunity proportionally went up every day, my immunity went back up. So the reason I'm talking about this is there's a lot of people out there who suffer from cancer. They suffer from other chronic illnesses for which right now there is no cure. And when I say suffer, I mean, I really mean suffer. Like they're in pain, their bodies are deteriorating, the medications aren't work, aren't working, whatever the case is. And what I wanna say is there's real hope in medical science and not to give up because who knows what's gonna to happen tomorrow. 
I, I know COVID's a horrible thing, but quite honestly, because they're doing research on COVID, there may be an, a discovery based on the COVID research that helps somebody with something else. I don't know what it is. I can't imagine what it is, but this has happened before. Um, this is what happened with AIDS, actually, was, uh, uh, what was it called? THZ, THZ? I think that was the name of it. That was actually a cancer medication, and they found that it worked um, on AIDS patients. So these things happen all the time. Don't give up hope if you're suffering with either a terminal cancer or a chronic disease. We don't know what's around the corner medically, and we just need to hang in there and have a little hope and hope for the best. And I say this as a person that would be dead now had I gotten multiple myeloma in 2003 and not 2013. When I started to receive the stem cell treatment, it was relatively speaking only about five years old. Um, they actually didn't even have that much research. At the end of my treatment, I agreed to let them keep my genetic material, which was basically some of my stem cells and some, some stuff they had biopsied and bone marrow and things like that. I allowed them, I signed paperwork so that I could be using case studies to teach students and also in presentation to the Senate subcommittees that meet on um, stem cell research and funding for stem cell research, which is incredibly important. Um, and I did all this because, well, I wanted to help first of all, and I felt really, I felt so lucky that I was alive and I was doing really well, like really well. They kept saying to me how exceptional my recovery was and that was so good to hear. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to come, up, come on here and talk a little bit about um, my stem cell procedure. I wanted to talk a little bit about if you're feeling you know, down. If you think that this disease you have, whatever it is, is never going to go away, have, have some hope because medical science is learning new stuff every day. There's new research every day. We're finding out so many new things. I mean, just look at like this pandemic now, had this happened maybe even in the 60s, we wouldn't have had the technology we have now to really fight this, to create this vaccine for this pandemic. So, I just want to say to everybody out there, keep, keep some hope and uh, yeah. So I will see you guys in the next video and um, have a very happy Valentine's Day. And I hope you all feel loved. And like I said, shout out to everybody whose uh, true love has four feet. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, subscribe, comment. I, you know I love comments. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.